Okay, we're in the uh, holodeck. deck. Uh, just get my chair rearranged here. So if I squeeze on the uh, grip, the uh, easel comes over to see me. And uh, <coughs> the first thing I wanted to talk about is uh, over on my hand, there is a program called FPS VR. And uh, basically, so it keeps track of the frames per second. And uh, it also like, gives a graph for both the GPU and the uh, CPU. Uh, as you can see, it also has um, how much memory is uh, being used by the GPU, how much uh, memory is used by my RAM, the uh, kind of the, uh, how hard the uh, uh, CPU is working, uh, what kind of reprojections, and how many drop frames. Uh, the last item is the, uh, the battery charge in uh, both my uh, left and my uh, right um, touch controller. And I am using a, a valve index. And uh, so these are how the touch controllers show up in, in, uh, in X-Plane. And uh, but I just wanted to go over that. The other item here is um, uh, that also is showing the amount of battery life is uh, OVR Toolkit. Uh, and, and in its state right now, it, uh, <clears throat> it just shows this up on my, uh, on my hand. And, uh, but if I take and on, use the two, the two A buttons, if I push them twice at the, on both controllers, click, click. Didn't work. Click, click. Oh, it's not working. So I've got to figure out why that's true. Let me go look. So I went and looked on the desktop, and uh, uh, let me go back. I think I know what it is. They uh, changed the uh, the uh, how fast you have to have to do the double clicks, and uh, it's a lot quicker than it used to be. You could do it fairly slow before, but currently uh, it's fairly quick. So at this point in time, you have to uh, do double clicks uh, fairly quick to get this uh, this OVR toolkit uh, uh, <coughs> dialog box to show up. Now, if you look down here, you see what also come up is this is my desktop. So I'm going to use the old method that I used to use. I'm going to click on the menu button of my touch controller. And if I click on that, and I click on, and you can see that my desktop is shown. Where OVR Toolkit is basically showing the same thing, in, and all of this is in VR. So if I go back to the app, but the advantage is, is that I have control over my desktop now. All the items that you've seen before are all available to me. So if I wanted to stop the recording, I could actually go here, click on the trigger, and it would stop the recording. So, uh, so I have all of this. All of this is available to me in VR. So um, let me um, let me think what I want to do. So if I wanted, I'm going to basically get in the cockpit right now. So when I get over close to this window. If I grab, if I tighten up on the grip, then that allows me to grab to grab that window. I'm going to close this out by clicking on this, and then I'm going to end up getting in the cockpit. So I'm going to click on done. Now I'm in the cockpit. Pretty overcast today. So move that guy over there. This is uh. X checklist, and I think I've got everything where I want it. So you see now, when if I grab a hold of this, it says uh, drop window here to attach the hand. So if I drop it there and let go, eh, it's not being, it's not cooperating with me today. Normally, I could drop this right on here, and it, and it would connect it to the hand, but it's not. Oh, there we go. So I, I basically dropped this um, 
onto that onto that uh, icon, and it basically attached it. So now when I move my touch controller, it moves as opposed to being pinned someplace in space. If I grab it again and move it away, and, I, and it says, now it says drop window here to detach from hand. So if I drop it there, nope, didn't drop, didn't detach. Still not. Definitely not playing nice with me today. That is being a really big pain in the butt. There we go. Finally. <laughs> but so inside the cockpit, I, I basically, so I have the whole desktop. And uh, to, to the extent that I can, so if I go ahead and I want to create another, another window. Uh, so now, now that I'm, I'm in here, if I click on this, this will put me back in the, the so the dialog box shows up again. So I'm going to spawn a new window. So if I click on this, so now I have a new window. And... Um, so I'm going to select, I'm going to switch. So I'm going to basically open up uh, the, this, this, dial, this uh, in, uh, file explorer. I'm going to basically change this window into that. So if I click on this, it's going to switch it. So now, <clears throat> now I have this inside my cockpit. Now, if I go under window settings, and basically I want to, this is way too big, so I make it smaller. So I just hit on the smaller icon and make it smaller. So go back to home and close this out. <coughs> So now, this is this is active. So in other words, I can like scroll up. And if I, I can go, and if I double click on here, I go back where I was. So, and the same thing, if I, see the dots on here? If I grab it with a grip, I can basically put it wherever I, wherever I want. But the point is is that everything on here is live so that it, it allows you to do this. So you can basically pull any any um, any window that's on your desktop, you can pull that into VR. And and the window that's in there is active. It it will do whatever whatever you care for it to do. Uh, I'm trying to think what else I wanted to do. I think that's good enough for right now. So basically, I showed OVR Toolkit. And FPS VR. You can see, like, it's extremely overcast today. It's really overcast today. Uh, but I'm still getting, like, 40, 45, 47 frames. Uh, I've seen it as high as uh, 
at 60. So, uh, but it, it's just, it's just quite overcast. And uh, so it, it's kind of, you know, it's, it's definitely my uh, computer systems having to work, uh, work fairly hard now. But, uh, but the whole point is, is that it's all, it's all smooth. I mean, it's not, I don't, I don't have any stutters. I mean, everything looks good. Uh, let me get back out of here. When I look at the, uh, at the gauges and stuff, the way I'm set in the uh, cockpit, um, the gauges are all, uh, all nice and crisp. I mean, so, I see now I'm, I'm a little, uh, so at this point, I think I'm going to try to start the engine. So, I flip up the, uh, the master, put the mixture in, go ahead and start. Engine running, generator on, avionics on, cross tie on. So everything's pretty much good to go. Uh, adjust my uh, altimeter. And uh, rep is not happy with me right now. So it says uh, rep says the spark plugs will fail because I'm running the I'm running the uh, RPM too low. So if I pick up the RPM to a thousand, then uh, rep message goes away. I think we'll call it. Um, I'm pretty happy with what I've showed so far. I will, uh, I will do more videos that kind of uh, show this more of what uh, what my experience in VR is. So I think for right now I'll say I'm good. So basically I'm going to grab the uh, desktop and I'm going to click on the uh, the OBS that I'm running right now that's doing the recording. So I'm going to click on the OBS and say I am done recording. So it says stop recording.